Myocardial infarction, also known as a heart attack refers to severe chest pain most often associated with occlusion of one or more coronary arteries that leads to blood flow decrease or stop. Result death of cardiac tissue. Most myocardial infarction occur due to coronary artery disease. The complete blockage of a coronary artery caused by a rupture of an atherosclerotic plaque is usually the underlying mechanism of a myocardial infarction. Less common reasons, coronary artery spasm, vasculitis cocaine use. Embolization. Risk factors hypertension, high blood pressure. Smoking, diabetes, sedentary lifestyle, lack of exercise, obesity, high blood cholesterol, poor diet and excessive alcohol intake. Myocardial infarction occurs predominantly in men between 40 and 65 years old. At least 25% of AMIs are clinically unrecognized. Clinical findings of an acute myocardial infarction. Sudden onset of severe, crushing retrosternal pain. Sensation of tightness, pressure, or squeezing. Pain radiates to the left arm, but may also radiate to the lower jaw, neck, right arm, back, and upper abdomen epigastrium. Pain usually lasts greater than 30 minutes. Pain is not relieved by nitroglycerin. Associated manifestations include sweating, diaphoresis anxiety, and hypotension. Silent AMIs occur in 20% of cases. It means myocardial infarction without symptoms. More likely in older adults and in individuals with diabetes mellitus, who frequently have neuropathies and cannot feel pain. Other less common symptoms include weakness, palpitations, abnormal heart rate. These symptoms caused by massive surge of catecholamines from the sympathetic nervous system. Sometimes infarction causes sudden death, due to the development of ventricular fibrillation. Two types of myocardial infarction exist, ST elevation myocardial infarction, CME, and non-ST segment elevation myocardial infarction. STEMI is more massive infarction. Full thickness, Q waves, cardiac enzymes increased. More than 80% have occlusion of a coronary artery. Non-ST elevation myocardial infarction, STEMI, only 30% to 40% have occlusion of the coronary artery. Complications of acute myocardial infarction. Cardiogenic shock, arrhythmias, premature ventricular contractions are the most common arrhythmia. Ventricular fibrillation, heart block. Congestive heart failure typical onset within the first 24 hours. Heart rupture, most likely to occur between days 3 and 7, range, 1 to 10 days, anterior wall rupture most common results in cardiac tamponade. Mural thrombus. Fibrinous pericarditis with or without effusion. Ventricular aneurysm. Diagnosis. Serial testing for creatine kinase isoenzyme MB, CKMB. CKMB appears within 4 to 8 hours, peaks at 24 hours, and disappears within 1.5 to 3 days. Sensitivity and specificity are 95%. Serial testing for cardiac troponins I, CETNI, and T. Troponins normally regulate calcium-mediated muscle contraction. CETNI and CTNT appear within 3 to 12 hours, peak at 24 hours, and disappear within 7 to 10 days. ECG changes with pathologic changes, inverted T waves, Correlate with areas of ischemia at the periphery of the infarction. Elevated ST segments correlate with injured myocardial cells surrounding the area of necrosis. New Q waves correlate with the area of coagulation necrosis. Symptoms relating to ischemia. Changes in the motion of the heart wall on imaging. Demonstration of a thrombus on angiogram or at autopsy. Prevention. Physical activity is important. 150 minutes of moderate or 75 minutes of vigorous intensity aerobic exercise a week decreases risk of myocardial infarction. Healthy weight, drinking alcohol within the recommended limits, and quitting smoking reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease. Mediterranean diet has evidences reducing cardiovascular disease risk. Blood pressure normalization, healthy body mass index and normal waist circumference are important indicators. Statins, drugs that act to lower blood cholesterol, decrease the incidence and mortality rates of myocardial infarctions. Aspirin has benefits of preventing myocardial infarction, but it increases risk of bleeding, if bleeding risk exists. Management. Lifestyle modification is important, stopping smoking, a gradual return to exercise, eating a healthy diet, achieve a healthy weight. Exercise is both safe and effective even if people have had stents or heart failure. Exercise is recommended to start gradually after one to two weeks from myocardial infarction. Omega-3 fatty acids may have some benefits. Medications, aspirin. Dual antiplatelet therapy. Aspirin plus clopidogrel. 
Up to 12 months. ACE inhibitors decrease the risk of death. Beta blocker therapy if there is no acute heart failure or heart block. A myocardial infarction requires immediate medical attention. Visiting hospital as soon as possible. Treatment aims to preserve as much heart muscle as possible, and to prevent further complications. Treatment includes, thrombolysis or percutaneous coronary intervention. Pain, myocardial infarction may be treated with nitroglycerin or morphine.